We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series review. We are looking at Shin Hati, finally making her way into the collection here. I'm very excited to have her alongside Balin. Um, she's number 10. We have a nice picture of Shin there on the side. And again, a lot like I said with the Balin skull figure, it looks almost a little bit more sort of, you know, something off of the expanded universe sort of book cover or something as opposed to an actual picture or an actual sort of representation of the character from the show. It's pretty close, but her and Balin, you know, they both look a little bit more sort of artistically styled as opposed to from the act actors that played them. But she's looking pretty good in the packaging there. Looking forward to having a look at them side by side, um, and I'll definitely do that in the video. Given that I have um, given Balin Skull the uh, the height modification, um, I'll be doing that with her as well, just to bring her down a little bit. I think from the reviews I've seen, she's a little bit tall, but we'll see. We'll see. I may not have to. I'll make that decision once I crack her open. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's bust her open and have a look. Before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. All right, here is Shin Hati out of the packaging. Pretty decent looking figure, I will admit, just sort of first glances, having a look over it. The head sculpt is fantastic. I know that a lot of the uh, sort of early press images weren't as good, um, but in hand, this figure's come out really, really nicely. Now, she does come with her lightsaber. So here we have that. The hilt looks pretty solid. I like the look of that. I can focus on it, that'd be good too. There we go. So it looks kind of cool. So it suffers from the same sort of flexibility problems as Balin, and it's quite soft. Which means the blade does come out quite easily. It definitely sort of got that. It's definitely red, but it's almost got that sort of orange hue to it, which is which is nice. Um there are a lot of sort of complaints about them being too red. I think they're all right. If I compare it to to Balin's, which I have changed, um, his is even more a little bit a little bit red, even still. Um, but that's okay. So we get a good look at the figure here. here we'll get a close up look. So in terms of the face, I think that's absolutely bang on. I think Hasbro's absolutely nailed that. I think it looks fantastic. Great likeness. Even the hair, I think, is is good. It's good. I, I definitely needs a little bit of weathering, I think. A little bit of uh, depth. It's just it's very flat. The sculpt is there. The sculpt is fantastic. Just needed a little bit of a little bit of something through the hair just to just a little bit of extra detail um, wouldn't make it look like kind of just looks like molded white chocolate but otherwise it, it's good the, the braid down the side there which is nice it's sort of sculpted I'd say it's a separate piece sort of glued into the bottom of the hair before putting up put on the head but it looks nice. I think the uh, the outfit on the chest could have probably done with a little bit of a wash too. Didn't need too much. Because Balin got a little bit of that sort of that sort of green colouring, that sort of blue mottled sort of look, which I'm not actually hating now. It, it sort of it sort of cut, sticks out well. Um, I would like to mute it a little bit, but yeah, unfortunately Shin didn't get anything like that on her sort of on her outfit, at least the top half. The armor looks good, from the sort of shoulders up to the upper arms there. There's sort of, there's a good sort of, I don't know what, how to describe it, but it's almost, it's almost like as if it's been painted at one stage in this sort of beige, sort of cream color to mix her outfit, match her outfit, and then the sort of the the silver of the uh, armor is sort of scuffed through after with after wear and tear and stuff. So I reckon that looks really good. So it looks nice. Got that on both sides. 
some weathering on the sort of armor pieces on the side of the leg there too. And they're sort of separate, separately molded, which is great. And the bottom half of the outfit looks good. Nicely sculpted. Not too much weathering there, that's fine. Just the legs. And again, people are sort of saying that the, these legs are a little bit too long. Um, and I guess the only thing that's really going to put you to work on swapping them out for some shorter legs are the knee pads. They seem to be separate pieces, but it's going to be a little bit tricky swapping out those upper thighs for some smaller ones. I've seen a few people use some different different legs. Um, I'm still unsure about whether I'm going to or not. We'll see. And the uh, shin guards, sort of that sort of same sort of worn away look as the upper arms. So that's cool. I like that. Sort of pretty plain sort of black black boots shoes, but they're fine. So she's a nice looking figure, really nice looking. Um, let's go side by side. And yeah, I've got Balin a little bit taller. He was a little bit shorter when I got him. And they'll, yeah, they'll, that would have looked really weird having them side by side, and they were pretty much like that. But uh, yeah, I think she could she could afford to come down a little bit. I think I think he should be sort of up here to her or she should be down down there a little bit more so it's not much but just just, just enough to give a little bit of height contrast between the two so i definitely going to have a look around see what figures i can uh, sacrifice to do that <laughs> hopefully it's uh something i can dig out of my extras box so um yeah articulation i guess got the double ball jointed head Joint in the ball joint in the neck. He's got the uh, the ball and socket shoulders with the hinge in the shoulder, giving the uh, that sort of butterfly butterfly joint. Even though it's not technically a butterfly joint, it's just a sort of added ring in there, just to allow that sort of outfit to sort of move a little bit. Ball hinges in the elbows. You get a good range there. She has the ball and socket. No, she has hinge, ball hinge wrists. I thought they might have gone with the uh, with the newer style with shin, but they haven't. So she's got the hinges. I just dare say the hands are used from something else, but that's fine. She does have a torso joint there as well. I've shown you before, she does have the uh, ball and socket in the upper thigh. No, no thigh swivel. She's got the Pretty decent joint in the knee. And then the ball hinge in the ankles, swivels in the rocker, swivel in the rocker part of the ankle. You get that sort of, so you can get those sort of stances, those flat footed stances when they're a little bit wider. Yeah, I like the, I like the figure, I dig it. I, yeah, definitely gonna do a couple little mods. Um, which, you know, for these two, if you didn't have to do those sort of modifications, these probably would have made it into my top 10. Which will be coming out next week, after Christmas. I'll be doing my top 10. But yeah, I, I think these two are just going to slip out. It's, it's hard to get them in there when there's so much work to do to get the figures looking looking a little bit better than they came. Um, and yeah, check out the Balin sort of video because I did talk about that what I was going to do so yeah unfortunately I, I, I really love these two characters I think they were definitely a highlight of the Ahsoka series I look forward to seeing their stories pick up and see where they go um, but yeah for the purposes of my top 10 this year it's a really really difficult challenge to picking a top 10 um, in itself But yeah, just couldn't slot these ones in there. That only just picked up Shin, so it's uh, 
it's uh, still early. <laughs> but um, yeah, stay tuned because I will be doing a top 10 Black Series uh, video dropping after Christmas. So sort of in between Christmas and the new year. To round out the year. I try and do that every year, but anyway, I'd like to hear, like to hear your thoughts. Please sound out down in the comments below. We'll catch up down there. And uh, yeah, some more videos coming this week. So until then, may the force be with you always.